Hi guys, welcome. And I thought I'd make a updated uh, video to my selling your work on Redbubble I made about uh, three years ago. Uh, ever since then, Redbubble has uh, improved its uploader and also added a few more um, products where you can apply your images to. I will have all the information uh, down below in the description section, links to my previous videos and links to the Redbubble. Uh, my store as well. This is my store here. Uh, don't forget if you're new to the channel uh, to uh, subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified of more videos I'll be putting out like this. Um, I made this video especially for beginners, someone who's new to Redbubble, someone who's looking to simply upload their images and start selling uh, the images on Redbubble. So this is a basic video and this is only going to talk about uploading your uh, images two products on uh, on Redbubble. So let's get started. Now um, you can go to redbubble.com and create a free account um, and then once you log in you click on your profile picked here at the top here and you click on add new work. Now you come to this area here for the purpose of this video we're going to use this option. I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to choose the image I want to upload. Now um, once you fill out all this information, title, tags, and description, also it gives you helpful tips. Once you, you put your uh, mouse on top of these eye, little eye icons, and it tells you how to write uh, your title, uh, how to write your tags, and how many tags to include, and how to uh, to write your uh, description and to give it a bit of a story. Once you fill out this information, that information gets automatically tra um, translated to these languages. Uh, if someone um, from these countries or these uh, of people speaking these languages can uh, see your information getting translated automatically. So for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to rush through this. So I'm just going to call this Melbourne City at night. I'm going to give it a few tags uh, quickly. Uh, like I said, just to get moving on this video. I mean, when it comes to your uh, your image or your work, just take your time, give it, give it a good, you know, give it quite a few uh, tags, get more, so it helps you get discovered more in the marketplace, and also uh, give it a lot better description of what I'm doing, uh, to, you know, give the story that behind your image, so people will get, you know, will feel for it or give them a, a feeling to to want to purchase your your work. Okay, so that's it there. Now let's take a look at the uh, uh, products that the image has uploaded to. So as you can see, um, uh, the uploader has up, uh, applied your image to these products. You will notice some are grayed out. They're the ones that won't appear in your store. Now let's start from the top here and review the each uh, product. I don't want this image to appear in the clothing section, so I'm going to disable them. So I'm going to go disable, disable, scroll down. Again, I don't want it to appear in the airline dresses. I like the way the sticker looks, that's fine. I like the way it looks on the phone case as well, but I want to position the image a bit more um, to show a bit more image in the middle of the product. So I'm going to click on edit and I'm going to drag the image here. Uh, in the edit section and as you can see um, it's actually showing in the preview as well so if I keep going you can see the preview here now I can choose to make uh, the image bigger or smaller in within the product so I can go smaller or I can go bigger and that's that's I'm happy with that so I'm just going to click on apply changes Next one, uh, phone wallets, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with the pillows and totes. Um, I'll come back to the flo uh, floor pillows. I'm happy with the print cards and posters. Now, you've noticed this says print cards and posters. So let me show you something here. When you go into edit, there's another option in the edit section. Click here, 
this is where your uh, image will be uh, applied to, to cards, metal prints, art prints, frame prints, posters, etc. You can choose to remove them or not, you know, not show them up in these in these um, products. But I prefer to show them as much as many products as possible. Also, you notice here on the right hand side of that the same tab, the markup. So this is your margin, uh, profit margin. I've set these automatically uh, to be assigned through my uh, profile uh, admin or uh, setting sections of my profile. So I click on changes there. Uh, now, as you can see, this one here in uh, pouches, laptops, skins, and sleeves, the image uh, hasn't filled the whole area. So I'm going to go into edit. Now there's two things I can choose to do with this. I can choose to recreate or resize my image to fit this whole area by going in here and it'll give you me it'll give me the sizes. In some images it'll actually tell you the sizes within the, the edit area. I'll show you that down down below. Or what I'm gonna choose to do is I'm gonna choose to create as a as a repeat a pattern so it fills the whole area. So I'm just gonna move it around a little bit and you can see the preview here. And just move it uh, and to the position you're happy with and click on apply so next uh, this uh, shower curtain now obviously it's grayed out because uh, the image didn't fill the whole area so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix that I'm going to go edit now in this product and some other products too will actually give you the size it requires there it is there I've already created uh, an image to match these uh, dimensions in photo from Photoshop. So I created a new document in Photoshop with these dimensions. Drop my image into there and resize it within that within these dimensions. So I'm now going to click on replace image, and here it is: Red Bubble Tapestry Shower. I'll talk to you about this tapestry a bit later. I'm going to click on that. Double click. And now it's going to start uploading to replace that uh, previous image. So while that's happening, let's scroll down. Now in uh, mugs, um, you can choose how you want to show uh, the default view of the mug. You can choose to show it, uh, um, I believe it's called center aligned. Yep, center angle, sorry, and uh, left angle and right angle. I always choose uh, in for all the mugs uh, my products I choose center angle because I want them to show the middle of the of the uh, of the mug with my product in it. Also as you can see this one it gives you uh, you can download the template and then uh, apply your image to the template save it as a JPEG or PNG and upload it. Now talking about JPEGs PNG I prefer J, uh, PNG files I feel they're a lot uh, sharper images as, as uh, PNG files. That's my personal preference. You can choose to use uh, um, a JPEG files. Now let's go back up there, see if that, yep. So that's finished um, uploading. So now that looks better. It's filled the whole area. Uh, go down here, not, I'm gonna, not going to apply this uh, image to the leggings products or the mini skirts or the scarves. Now again here it hasn't filled the whole area so I'm going to choose to do the easy way and do a repeat um, pattern and position it to the position the way I like it. Like that and click on apply. Um, I, I do like how this has worked out, so I'm just going to enable that one. I like the notebook um, and the, the journal. I'll come back to the clock. Uh, art boards, prints, and acrylics, I like that. Now, as I said before, tapestries I mentioned before, I'm going, to, I'm going to replace this image with the one I've already created to these dimensions. So I'm going to click replace image, and there it is there. As you can see, bath mat has an, is grayed out as well. That's because it didn't fit the entire, they want us to review. Basically, when it's grayed out, they want you to review, uh, review the way it looks before you enable it. And I think that's a great thing to do because I don't like it 
half you know half full in the in the product so I'm just gonna go click on edit I've already created create the image or my image to these dimensions so I'm gonna click on replace image and uh, and sorry and here it is here so I'm gonna get that to upload now Also here, um, it's grayed out, but I've already got a re, um, um, resized image to the dimensions required here. Click on, and there it is there. So that's uploading too. Okay, so that's finished uploading now. It looks a lot better. Now, a couple of other things. The clock, as, you, as I said before, I can go to edit and download the template they provide and I can um, apply my image to the template and then save it as a J, uh, PNG and upload it again but I'm just going to do this a quick way here I want to click on replace image and use one of the previous ones I did I can use the tapestry shower image within there now as you can see the um, the bath mat has finished uploading I like the way it, 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 it applied the image so I'm going to enable that it also finished applying the uh, image to the wood and canvas image that's great I like that I like how in the tote bag this is this is the area you're gonna get you can't fill the whole area unfortunately I'll go in there and I'll show you you can you can make if you want it bigger to these dimensions you can but it's only gonna fit in the middle it was it won't fill the whole bag um, I'm not I don't want it to appear as socks I don't want the image to be appears in the socks uh, product uh, the pin button product I want to move it a little bit more just a bit more centered like that maybe and maybe bring up the scale of the image a bit more on the on the product yeah click apply this is a new product that's going to be coming out soon so I like the way the image is sitting in it so I'm going to enable it and now what will happen is this image will appear when it's released uh, in my uh, storefront. So let's, let's go back up. So there's the clock now. The clock uh, image is ready. You can customize the clock to the way you want it to look. The, the out of frame, I always choose. I love the natural bamboo look. I choose that. You can choose the hand color. Now obviously the darker images you choose a whiter, a white hand and a lighter image you choose black or you can choose red and aqua I, I generally stick to uh, black or white and as you can see there is the white hands so apply now uh, up here we're going to go back to the throw pillows now again I can uh, create um, you know a resized image to these other dimensions but I'm going to use what I've already done and I'm going to use the um, tapestry shower image to go into it. Now that's uploading. Now again, just a quick, uh, just to show you a couple of things I showed you before, just to recap. This uh, second tab within the edit um, option, you can see where the image is going to be applied. For example, in pouches, laptop skins and sleeves. It says here, laptop sleeves laptop skins and zipper pouches and here are your um, profit margins you can change these here if you want or like I've set them to uh, default uh, in my profile um, um, settings so that's almost done and that's uh, pretty much it um, and then I'll take it to the uh, section below to before you save it just waiting to, uh, on that. Just waiting for this to finish. Just to see how it looks. Yeah, I might just move it a little bit to the right. Scale it up a little bit. And click on. Yep, I like that. I'm going to leave it at that. So just a quick review from the top again. Now also you probably notice in the edit section there was a background color. This uh, is if you're using a transparent background you can set your own color 
to for it to appear, let the color of the product to appear. So your you can set maybe red and uh, the product will have a red background and then your images sit on top of that. But obviously I, I can't set a background because I'm using a full uh, image. And now we're almost done to save it into our store. So a couple of things here at the bottom. Uh, it's a photograph, so I'm going to choose photograph, or you can have, depends on what uh, what you've uploaded. The collection is basically my categories within my store. I've created these in the stores area, and I'm going to I'm going to set the these products to appear under Melbourne at Night um, category or collection. And then how I want it to look like when when uh, the default view or the original view when people go into the product. I usually for my photography I choose frame prints so basically it's just going to be uh, the default view will be the image in within a frame and it looks really nice actually and uh, no mature content I want everyone to see it says public and then finally I'm going to click on this uh, the TNC to say that you know you have the right to sell the products containing the artwork Basically, you have rights to the artwork, and then you click on save. Um, that's basically it, guys. I hope you got something out of it, especially if you're new to um, uh, to Redbubble or want to get started. Don't forget to uh, apply your um, or add your links to my to the comments. I would love to check out your store. Um, also, if you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. The next video I will make is how to promote your your um, your product that you uploaded um, to Redbubble and show you a couple of things on how to do that. So I hope you come back to my next video. Um, thanks for watching.